Hello friends, this video on determinant part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 25. Let's take one more theorem. This theorem says that determinant of the product of matrices is equal to product of their respective determinants. That is, determinant of AB is nothing but determinant of A into determinant of B. Please note. Determinant of AB is nothing but determinant of A into determinant of B. This is also a good theorem. We will use this theorem. Determinant of A is nothing but determinant of A into determinant of B. So let's take this example where we have A is equal to 2, 4, 3, 2 and B is equal to 1, 3, minus 2, 5. Here we have to prove that determinant of A is AB is equal to determinant of A into determinant of B. So determinant of A is here nothing but 2 into 2, 4 minus 4 minus 4 into 3, 12, that is minus 8, determinant of B is nothing but 1 into 5, 5, minus 3 into 2 is minus 6, 3 into minus 2, that is 11. And for determinant of AB, you have to find matrix AB first, AB is nothing but 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, minus 2, 5, correct? And this, if you find the product, you take this row, you take this column, so this becomes 2 into 1 plus 4 into minus 2, that is minus 8. This guy becomes 2 into 3, 6 plus 5, 4 into 5, 6 plus 4 into 5 is 20, 3 into 1 plus 2 into minus 2, 3 into 1 is 3 minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 3 into 3 plus 2 into 5 that is 9 plus 10 so what you get here is minus 6 26 minus 1 and 19 you find determinant of AB this guy is nothing but 19 into minus 6 minus 26 into minus 1. This guy is nothing but minus 1, 1, 4 plus 26 and that is nothing but minus 18. So if you see this value is nothing but 11 into minus 8. What is 11? Mod determinant of B and what is this 8? Determinant of A. So what we have seen? Determinant of AB is nothing but determinant of B into determinant of Similarly, you can say the determinant of B, B A is also equal to this only. Determinant of B A is also equal to determinant of A B is equal to determinant of B cross A or A cross B. All same. Because it is a real number multiplication. It is not a matrix multiplication here. If you see Determinant is a real number, this guy is a real number, real number, real number. It's not matrix multiplication, it's a real number multiplications. There is a note. The note says that if A is a square matrix of order N, then adjoint of A determinant is nothing but adjoint of A to the power N minus 1. Please note, if there is a matrix of order N, then adjoint of A mod is nothing but a to the power n minus 1. To prove this, let's use this formula. The formula we know is a d j a into a is nothing but determinant of a into i. This formula we know and this is nothing but and let's take 3 cross 3 matrix. Let a be 3 cross 3 matrix. In that case, this will be nothing but a mod into 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 and this is nothing but determinant of a 0 0 0 determinant of a 0 0 0 and determinant of a. correct this is the value of adjoint of a into a this value what I get is adjoint of a adjoint of A into A is nothing but determinant of A Q by 1 1 1 
zero. This guy. How come? Because if you see, I took these values out. A Q was common here. A Q was common here. A Q was common here. Correct. So I got this. This is a vector actually. Sorry, a matrix. A matrix into y. So a matrix into y. If you do, this becomes this guy. So this is nothing but. See, please note this is a matrix A. This is determinant A. So a cube into this guy. Now you divide both by a. Or you, what you do is you take. You know, the, the funda is if. A adjoint A into A is equal to this. I can take both the side. Uh, this thing, uh, what do you call? Determinant. Determinant of this guy is only one determinant of this guy. So this become A D J determinant into A determinant is nothing but A cube determinant, and this guy becomes one. So this guy is nothing but a d j a determinant is nothing but now a determinant three by a determinant that is a determinant two. So now if you see what I got is adjoint of a determinant is nothing but determinant of a square, and the formula I told is determinant of adjoint a is nothing but determinant of a to the power n minus one. So in this case I took n was Three, correct? Because I took n was three, so I got square here, and thus I have proved this true for n is equal to three. Similarly, you can prove this for n equal to one or two, and then you can say that it's true for all the values. Thank you. Visit examfear dot com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials. Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.